Well, this is it, folks. We are back for the big one. We'll let you roll on and watch the haka led by Anthony Makiha for Hodaki Plains College. Haka to follow by Pottle College. Well that's it, that's the huckers by both schools respecting each other as well because of the history between Hauraki Plains College, Pauro College, uh, both doing it well, doing the justice too when it comes to haka and the good challenge. That is the challenge that is set down by these two teams as we head into the Colter Cup final between Hauraki Plains College, Pauro College. Uh, these teams have met before as well, uh, Hauraki Plains College having the better of the two. We'll be refereed today by of course uh, Ryan Rogers out there, uh, Samuel Oates and Stu Pinney will be on the uh, ARs doing the assistant refereeing. Uh, joining back here in the commentary with the Colter Cup final here in live in Pa and Wahi, Ross Cooper. Thank you, uh, Reno. Uh, yeah, very important game for both these teams. They, I watched them play two weeks ago. Uh, Horaki had uh, the better of that game. Yep. Uh, Pyro tended to run out of steam in the late in the game, so it'll be interesting to see how the big fellas stand up to today. Be uh, with the wind in the first half. Pyro playing towards Fongamata. Here's the whistle that's blown off as you get the kick underway. There, number 23 has. Uh, Kicked off the start to the game taken by number two, Kiwa Wiki Peihana, who is the captain for Pyrrhal, uh, settles down uh, to a big run by Baz Donnell. Uh, the front row, a big, strong, powerful run there by the prop. Settling down there for the uh, halfback, Bryce Brunton, proud to get the ball to deliver. And he's going to flick it out there to uh, another big prop. It's going on fourth to number three, uh, Naifutu Tupo, who has all his family with the Tonga flag over the far side <laughs> yelling and screaming. So good, good to see the Tupo Pano. Good kick there and well taken by the fullback. Uh, Lewis Horder uh, for uh, Hodaki Plains, but a penalty uh, ruled by Ryan Rogers, the uh, referee out there as well. So, a very, very energetic start using the big props from Pyro with Baz McDonald and uh, Naifutu Tupo uh, riding up the big yard. So, uh, I would guess we're not going to see the old tap and play. It's going to be <laughs> kicked to the sideline in this game, Ross. Oh, I would imagine so. And uh, you see Pyro rock and rolling there. Uh, the big fellas, um, both sides of the ruck, and then the big high kick. Bit of a shank uh, kick there, but uh, little accuracies here in the line out for uh, Pyro. Very important they get these things correctly done um, because the backs in Mercury uh, in uh, Hauraki are very, very talented. Mm. So I'd imagine that uh, Pyro will want to get the ball and uh, 
as you say, rock and roll the big fellas and then go wide. Yeah, go wide, use the uh, big boys up front there, and uh, Remu Alexander taking their kick as well. Uh, had a bit of an injury, so he's back out there as young Remu. Well oh. taken there uh, in the uh, forwards. Oh, I wonder that's color I know. But uh, coming on through, we're Hodaki playing, so uh, well done. Uh, taken by Cole Williams, uh, Timo Ananui. Uh, no doubt they'll be uh, looking for a tap and put it up, or they're going to tap and throw it out. It is Brunton Prout moves it out to Kyle Parker. He wants to let the ball go at least moving out into the uh, centre period there at number 12, who is Edai Tai. But turnover. Hello. And look at that good return reply back from the Hodaki boys out to their winger, uh, Blake Watts, who's uh, running strong. Big pick up there by Connell Walston, uh, number 6 for Hodaki. Defence time now for the green and gold. Here's Hodaki settles down. They got the overlap out wider. They can no, control the ball. Got but some very big mismatches yeah. out here wide yeah. with uh, Nye Tupo. Used to play for Waihi College. Uh, out standing out on the wing. Uh, there's a big mismatch with the back. So they need to get the ball wider quickly and uh, test that mismatch because uh, some of the big boys for Pyro are standing right out wide and not necessarily excellent at backline defence. Put uh, that, yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the old speed boys will get around the uh, big boys out there. The first five at number 23 has uh, come forward. I'm hoping uh, that number 23, because the number 10 is not, not out there, it's Joel Mickelson. Oh no, he is out there at number 10, Joel Mickelson. So the number 23 has come out, which we don't have on our uh, sheet at the stage. So we'll get an update hopefully uh, soon. But we'll continue on with the live broadcast thanks to uh, Bears Broadcasting. If you're at home, enjoying the uh, live stream from Waihi Athletic Rugby Club. Bit of a windy day there. The good Tonga flag with the Tupo Fano blowing strong over there. You'll hear them all day. Very vocal, but very, very supportive. Great to see a whole lot of support here. Uh, continue on as well. There's... Uh, you look down the side there, Johnny Williams walking along there in front of us on the camera side of it. Okay, we move on through to the play. Edai, Edai Tai um, has the ball at the moment. Um, Prout has it, move it into uh, Rumi Alexander. He runs straight straight into captain uh, to Anthony Maki, our captain for uh, Hodaki Plains. Want to move it out wide there. We uh, see uh, Kiwa Wihi Peihana with the ball now, flicks it on to uh, Heng Min Sok. Uh, who's playing today in number 14 for Pyro. Back into the captain, Wihi Peihana running up to the middle there. As they settle things down there, bright and proud into Baz McDonald. Big Baz running up strong, using his big power and strength to uh, make it on through. It'll be interesting to see how many minutes he lasts doing that type of stuff. Kyle Parker uh, flicks it out, Remy Alexander moves out to Hangman Sock, who's gone out wide now. And there we go, he held on to it. Hingmin Sock didn't release the ball, a penalty, and the uh, Hodaki crowd are here in numbers. You can hear them clapping and applauding that move. So well done uh, to Hodaki for, uh, well, Hingmin just didn't release the ball. And here we go, number 23 to kick it to the line. Yeah, they're taking the options well here, Hodaki. They're putting it into the corner. And uh, unlike the game previously, <laughs> Uh, which ended in a fantastic game it was too, a draw. But uh, these two teams are slightly different in uh, execution of their skills and look to see how Horaki here um, perhaps move the ball a little bit. But they might go for the big pushover. A bit high at the moment. Oh. Yeah, breaking off the back there as well. Looks like a uh, Wihi Pehana broke off to make the tackle there on the Horaki Plains player. Over the far corner there as well. and. Looks like HPC has the ball, flicks it out there to the prop of a Polder Emery, who moves it on. Big Polder Emery has got it again, he wants to run strong, run right back into uh, Parker. To Kyle Parker, who makes a good tackle there on the prop. Halfback is Luke Hill, who moves it Ooh. out, and then Ruben, there he goes, Rimu Alexander, he's going to get the good bounce, he's going to get the carry on, Rimu's going to keep chasing his ball, Alexander's in full no, flight. Please don't knock it on. <laughs> he's going to pick it up well oh, and move skills. it into the fullback who uh, does score for Pyro against the runner playing. That is Salwan Taiwa. So Salwan Taiwa scores the uh, try there for uh, Pyro College opening the uh, stand here in the final for the Colts Cup in the six minutes. It's 5-0, conversion to come. Yeah, so, lucky break there, came yeah. off a foot and uh, was a seven pointer both ways really, whichever team held on to the ball. So good uh, good work by the Pyro team, good defence and took their chances when it was uh, kicked through and they had a great overlap and uh, 
easy score there in the end for them, but it's a uh, good, uh, good opportun opportunist try, uh, Reno. Yeah, good try, good opportunist try there as well against the play, so uh, well done to the boys in green and gold. Just waiting for the kicking tee to come on by the looks of things. Um, looks like the guys under the tent over in the back there where their reserves are hunting around in the bag. Hey, someone get a kicking tee out here for our mate. Who is doing the kicking duties today for Pidal is Flynn Holden. Uh, the lock, uh, blonde headed lock who's uh, coming to do the kicking and is, uh, well, one of the uh, teachers, part of the sports structure at Pilot College, uh, known for touch, and not only here in New Zealand, but worldwide as a referee. Maya Williams is out there running on the uh, okay, kicking team. Hey, <laughs> so uh, Maya Williams out there handing over the uh, tee for young Flynn Holden to have a go at the kick. He's got the win. How it gets on. Oh, oh. As he kicks it, the ball tips over. Yeah. Maya, Maya Williams showing great speed there, not. Yeah. <laughs> it was a little unfortunate. The ball fell over and he'd already started his run. He should have run in and picked it up, picked it up and, and gone for a drop kick. kick. But uh, he tried to kick it and it went straight along the ground. So an interesting opening stanza. Uh, Horaki will be uh, a little bit stung by that because it was a 7-point turnaround, 14-point try. Um, Horaki should have tried, scored the try and as it was, Pyro did. So uh, interesting. There we go, kickoff made. There we're back into the uh, play now, taken by, of course, uh, Cole Williams, Tim Wananui. Uh, takes it to ground for Pyro to uh, get the recovery back, hopefully. Out to, yep, out to Big Bass, who's been running some big meters in this early stanza. It's only eight minutes into the game. Bass McDonald's had about half a dozen big runs at the moment. Here's the prop, and into uh, Noi, Noi Tupo. Uh, back up there making some big yards as well, doing some <laughs> big yards out of the boys, and why not? When they're out there playing footy, Kyle Parker wants to run his first five straight into the uh, tackling of HPC. Some very strong tackling by Trent Jackson as well. Out to Eli Tai, he puts it down the field, straight into the uh, fullback hands, and he's going to make a run back as Lewis Horder. Good little fend off there of uh, Rumor Alexander by Lewis Horder. Comes back in, uh, passed on, and moving on. Look at the big size of back line. Yet the back line's been noticed. Let's move it out to the number three, Polder Emery, who wants to move it across to the winger, to the speech of Ben McIntosh. Cuts back in. Settles down, picked up there by uh, the uh, halfback at 23. And a big run there by Trent Jackson, making some good yards there for the boys in black and white for Hodaki Plains College. Flicking it out there, out to the uh, second fight, Anthony Makia, the captain. Moving on to the centre, Manaya Church. And just uh, didn't go ball to hand. Simple errors, yep. costing them. They're looking sharp, the uh, Hodaki boys, their back line. Look, they've got some real strong strength right across that field, some speed. It's just uh, controlling their ball. And yeah, they'll be a force, you can see it just looking at them. They're yeah, I, themselves. I think the wind has, a, has a, quite a marked effect on the passing. They need to just move in a little bit closer together and get the accuracy right in the passing. Good line out take from number four. Yeah, Cole uh, Williams, Tim Wananui. Good high jump there by young Cole. Uh, taking in the push forward now with Pyro going forward. Uh, Brunton Prout hoping to get the ball back to deliver out to uh, Parker. He's going to kick it right down to the uh, corner here, hoping that young Sal and Taiwa, the try scorer, chases his ball, but the winger will let it go into the uh, sideline. Well done to Ben McIntosh. Let the ball go over. Taiwa chased up, but let's have a line up. And some of the big boys who made the big yards earlier on in the piece for Pyro are just slowly getting back there uh, to their line out, uh, doing their hard work. But why not? 10 minutes into the game, sucking on a couple of big ones. So there we go. There's the mark. The referee has spoken to them pre game. Ryan Rogers set down the foundry on how he wants the game, how he wants to control the Colter Cup final. Not straight. Unfortunately, not thrown in by Aiden Harrison uh, for HPC. So, Pyro, what do you want to do? The big boys goes, have a rest. <laughs> I think uh, a little bit of a confusion over the numbers in the line out yep. there. And uh, Horaki dropped a couple out late, or Pyro dropped a couple out late, so uh, it wasn't uh, necessarily a good execution of the line out call or the line out, so we'll need to watch that. Big scrum coming up here. Yeah, big scrum and uh, the back line already talking, looking like they want to set up a move here. Uh, Rumor Alexander coming in to talk to Kyle Parker. They just need ball in hand. Look, they've got to get it back first and foremost. It ain't going to work like that. So the hooker needs to do is roll in there. The captain, Ki, uh, Kiwa Wiki Pehana. Uh, let's get this ball back and let's see what the backs can do. Been practicing all week, I would guess, under the coaching of Daryl Parker, management of John Alexander. 
Uh, the other team that are here with them as well, the assistant coach Jason Simpson, Kyle Cheswick, and the assistant is Trey Temo Anunui. Physio is Terrell Parker, Water Carrier Matai Alexander, Strapper we saw run out there was Ma uh, Maya Williams, and the team mum, team mum is Amy Hacker, principal for the school. Parker goes out to uh, run around, and he might have been, oh wow, okay, carry on the rest of it, let's carry on the play there, I thought. Might have been a hint of a shepherd there. Uh, Parker has taken a bit of a hit in their tackle as well. Uh, Brunton Prout picks up the ball, tries to run, does a little halfback, but gets it ripped away from him. Hodaki has the ball in hand now, and they will flick it out to the biggest halfback you'll see in secondary school rugby, and Trent Jackson, who moves it out. <laughs> a little bit messy in the yeah, execution there messy. from both sides. Inaccuracies in the clean out, knock on, and uh, back to Pyro Ball. Uh, which is a little bit of a uh, problem with their, the big lads there. They've uh, sort of they're getting very slow to the rucks and the moors, they are, aren't they? They so are looking. It's only early time, yeah. Ross. It's only twelve minutes. Twelve minutes into the game, and bursts, they're really struggling. Yeah, their early bursts are kind of would guess you would see maybe a couple of players warming up on the bench yeah. soon, but they're going to do it tough. Uh, the intentions obviously is there to be strong, and physical up front with the big boys, but it's starting to pay off, and it's only early in this game. It's only the twelve minute, and it's five 0 to Idol try to sell in Taiwa. Brunton, okay, might play an advantage here. No, he carries on with the play. Alexander, Rumi Alexander's got the ball run straight into the centre pairing of, of course, Makiha and Church. Very strong in the middle there for HPC. Advantage now, called by the ref uh, for Pidal. Irai Tai wants to offload. Hingmin Sok has the ball out to try score at Taiwa. Taiwa. He's going to have a go on the outside. Nope. Loses the ball forward with uh, Corbin Cheswick uh, calling for the inside pass but Selwyn didn't quite see him but the penalty advantage goes to Pidal. Just a little bit of concern for both teams is ball retention and going into the tackle often the ball gets knocked uh, carrying the ball with one hand yep. and uh, once again that happened but Pyro are going to use the uh, win. Well, no, they didn't. They no, shanked it again. Low, yeah, keep it low. And uh, take the line out right just inside the 22. So a bit of pressure coming on Hodaki here. All right, good line out in front of us here in the live commentary. Thanks to uh, Bears Broadcast and bringing the live commentary of the uh, games all day earlier on. The uh, three finals as well. Into Cole Williams, uh, Tim Wan and Nui takes it into the line out. A big drive there coming to the back there. We've got Matty, Matty at the back there as well. Uh, Kiwa Wihipayana, the captain controlling the ball there in the mall, takes it to ground with Brunson Prout picking up to Parker, then out to Irai Tai, moving out to Alexander, cuts back in into all the run, oh. and he's going and gets, oh! And there's a penalty advantage with the head high, and he'll be, um, yeah, picked up for that, I would guess, not missed in front of everyone as well. Oh. We've got Tupo with a big strong run there, the prop, and we're going to pick up here, I would guess, by um, uh, Cheswick. Corbin Cheswick, who's been playing outstanding for part of the season, so he's picked up the ball, getting closer to the line, they're not far away from the line. And Baz, big Baz Donald, found a burst of energy somewhere, he's uh, nearly got it over the line, not quite. Oh, and there's a try, there's a try there by the kicker, Flynn Holden. Second try. Yeah, good work by the uh, two big fellas there, wasn't it? They uh, made up the some big uh, metres and got near and just played it smart, kept it tight and put the ball uh, to the lock, number five for Pyro College, yep. uh, Flynn Holden. Yep, so Big Bears made the big yards, a big drive forward there, we thought he'd run out of puff there for a few minutes, but uh, well done by the big 21, but the try scored by uh, Flynn Holden, who's not taking this kick uh, where Rumi Alexander's coming to uh, take the kick for the sun, so yep. Yeah, Dan Mead's giving a bit of a, a chat to the Hodaki boys. I yes. think they'll be a little bit disappointed with that try. It was pretty soft. But uh, as you keep alluding to uh, Reno, they're big boys to tackle. Yeah, they and, are. They're uh, pushing. They're strong. Yeah. They're, and they they're, take, doing, they're doing, doing themselves well. Yeah, no, good on them. It's uh, great to see them involved. And, uh, you know, when you get into that close quarter stuff, they're certainly uh, hard to tackle. Number 13 taking the kick right in front of us. Well, if you heard that, that's it. he missed the kick. I'm, so sorry. I'm sorry if you heard that, but um, it's Maori language. I think you're supposed to say Fakatani. And he accidentally said, you know, but I missed out the Tani. So, sorry, Aroha Mai. You were supposed to say Fakatani. But anyway, um, 
He must have kicked Remy Alexander. Yeah, so apologies. Well, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm going to use that one. <laughs> anyway, we get back into the play. We're moving up, but slow as the uh, HPC boys to uh, move to the halfway. The referee's there, ready to go with the uh, 23 to kick off. And we'll get back into play. The score is 10-0. Um, to Pyro, 60 minutes into the final of the Colter Cup. You see, preparing, here we go with the continuation of the game. And I would guess to keep Kiwa Wiki Pehana, who is the uh, captain, who knocks it back there for uh, Cole Williams, Timo Aranui, uh, for Pyro. They're settling down their halfbacks in broad in there as well. Big Baz is making some more yards. He's doing well as uh, Baz uh, Donald. Good on him, going strong there, settling the ball back for Brunton Proud. Here we go, Tupo making some more big yards. Looks like the intention from the Pyro team is to use the big boys at the start, the forwards, the props. Well done, and offloaded by Kyle Parker, showing his space as the uh, speed is Selwyn Taiwa. He's going to chase his kick, he's following through Lewis Horta. Has he got this covered? And it's just going to go a bit too far, a bit too deep. So well covered there by HBC Lewis Horta. And a uh, good little chip through, something we didn't see in the previous games. Uh, but a different game when it comes to this kind of level of first at the final. Well, they're using their intelligence, aren't they? And uh, using the wind to uh, get field position. Great work from the two uh, big props there to uh, rumble it up. And uh, just unfortunately, the kick went a little bit too hard in this wind that's blowing directly down the ground towards Whangamata. So uh, scrum, they've, uh, Horaki have taken a scrum out from where he kicked the ball, which is their entitlement. Be great to see them put a big scrum in here, Pyro. But I think uh, they're uh, sucking the big ones. When you look at the size of uh, those big props there, and look at the opposition. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Whew, massive. Yep, big push call on the sideline here from Maya Williams, who ran out earlier, and I see Remy's younger brother helping him on the sideline too. Young Maatai, uh, John Alexander, their dad manager for Pyro team, getting ready to uh, be fed in here by. Uh, the halfback uh, for HPC. Good strong scrum there, good hold there by Hodaki Plains College. Feeds out to the first five of Joel Mickelson, leaves it on to the centre, Manai, uh, out to uh, Manai Church. Big strong run there to the middle. Well done, and that was all down to Matthew Charlton. It was indeed. The number seven uh, with the long hair, and uh, when he's not on the footy field, he's normally in the ring. Loves his MMA and everything like that, or UFC, whatever he does, but he just very, loves getting in there. Very, very, very good technique over yep. the ball there, wasn't it? He just got his hands on the ball, great stuff. Going for touch again, good yep. good tactics. Keeping the ball down here, good clearing kick. He's got uh, about 15 metres out, 20 metres out from uh, touch line. So, uh, pressure's on here. Yeah, pressure's going. Matthew Charlton, vocal to his players out there as well. Talking to Matthew, his mother, uh, Katrina, or Missy Gamble, as many would know, will be watching this. His brother, Cody, who was a captain of the successful Pidal team uh, years gone by, or part of that whole squad that won back-to-back -to -back championships. There's Cole, Cole Williams, Tim Wanu, takes in Kiwa. We pay on has it in the back there uh, for Pidal number seven. Charlton coming around the back of him as well. And he goes with Charlton. Off he goes to Parker, moving out to, uh, he's going to run. Does uh, young Kyle Parker, good run there by the first five. Right smack in the middle of the field now. Brunton Prout passes on to Cheswick. Big strong run there. The try scorer lets it go behind him. Uh, Williams Temuanu picks up but held in a solid tackle there as well and taking the ground. Wihi Pehana captain with the ball now. Is he going to release it? He's going to get penalised here. Didn't release it. Uh, just no support around there as well. And that was well done to Aidan Harrison, the opposition hooker uh, over the ball where Wihi uh, we hear Pei Hunter just couldn't release it in time. Tap, and there they go. Horror back, turning their backs on them, not up there. And uh, coming forward is Iraya Tai. Uh, the wingers come up real forward as well. Here's the winger for Pidal. Uh, Timoti Widipi. Uh, Wipiti. Wipiti has come up real early. You can see what uh, Horaki are trying to do here. Speed yep. the game up. And uh, they took a quick tap. Caught uh, Pyro out a little bit there, but they managed to uh, shut it down. But uh, Pyro... Uh, conceded, I'd say, 30 metres on that quick tap. Yeah, and there's another good kick there by uh, Hodaki's hold up in the window. Yeah, wow. Fine touch. Held up there, and uh, Timothy takes it, a pass off to Hengming, who's uh, thrown it back. Thrown it right back there, and no control there. So HBC had the good roll going on here. Right down there in the 22, a Pidal at the moment. Gets the ball back, the uh, one off the uh, mall is at the moment with the uh, HPC boys going strong. They're going to try and force their way over the forwards. Backline looks strong out there as well, but no advantage there. Let's play the ball. It's HPC ball to put into the scrum. 
21 minutes gone. 10-0 to Pyro. Under the cosh here a bit. Hauraki have got to secure this board. They will want to come out with points, I would imagine. Yeah, I'd say so, Ross. Uh, you know, they've been doing some strong yards. They had some good metres beforehand, about 30 just prior to that. And they're right up there. Time for um, Luke Hill to feed the, line, uh, feed the scrum here and uh, see what the back line can do. They're all set up, ready to go. All right, out the back line that comes out to Captain Makiha, moves into Manaya Church. He's running straight back into it, right up the middle there. Runs into Keswick, who makes a good, strong ca tackle on Manaya Church. Hodaki still has ball from Oh, and there's the knock on there as well. Not what they wanted from Caleb Marshall. It was the prop actually pulled at Emery, uh, who knocked it on. It's Offside, the, the rack. Okay, so a there we go. A let off there, very lucky. There we go, Polder Emery hidden up there strong uh, for making up his mistake, I would guess, is the prop and picked up now by half and Luke Hill. Moving it out to the fullback inside pass, well done. And that should see Caleb Marshall go in over the try line. So well done to Lewis Horder, inside ball. Sees uh, the number eight, I think, Caleb yep. Marshall. Yep. Caleb Marshall scored the try there, first uh, points for HPC. I don't know whether they've scored it, they hadn't given it yet. But consultation on the touchline there with the, the line out. I oh, know he's given it. A little while. Yeah, it took a little while. Stu Pinney might have saw something, but referee has put his uh, arm. I think Stu just wanted a bit of a rest. Know some fresh air <laughs> running up and down the sideline. Just hold on, let's pretend we're having a chat here and then we'll carry on. Yeah. So Ryan Rogers goes, you had a good rest. There we go. Yeah. It's a try. Now that, that was very well done, wasn't it? They broke out from their 22, maintained the ball, the whole length of the paddock, took some good options, set up a ruck and then went blindside. So you've got to uh, admire what they've done. They needed that try, they'll close it down if this kick goes over. But uh, just before uh, 15 minutes to go, yep. Horaki needed that to get back in the game and uh, that will be uh, a, bit of a bit of a deflator for Pyro, who have played pretty well so far. It's been good rugby all day, Ross. You know, you see teams that never give up, especially with those previous two games, those two finals. The first game was a big result there for the boys from Te Aroha, but the previous two just show that both teams don't give up. And we can see that right now as the conversation just kind of floats up there in the air and doesn't quite go over there uh, for the try scored by Caleb Marshall. So 5-10 at the moment. Um, just a few over conversions at this stage, but it's a bit windy here in Waihe and We've got the big Colter Cup final on now as well. And good to see a few crowd here supporting. Well, the Waihi locals seen their team play. They got a draw earlier and they've gone home to much watch the live stream. So if you're at home in the comfort of your nice and warm one, me and Ross are out here freezing. <laughs> delivering this. So hope you enjoyed the live stream. Remo Alexander to get the play underway, making sure the team are back on side and it is. And there's the kick now taken by Polder Emery. He catches it. Oops, and over the top does the captain Kiwawiki Peihan and he's hurt himself in that fold as well. And our uh, referee's called a bit of time off. He's seen uh, Kiwa hurt himself. So yeah, just one of those accidental things. I would guess he's hurt his um, arm as such. Yeah, good acknowledgement by the uh, HPC players as well. No intention in it. looked quite serious but I'm not sure it was that serious but it looked serious he jumped for the ball and just yep. uh, went over, the top, went over the top and landed on the back of his neck so uh, uh, out there very quickly saying hey, yep. take a few big breaths and slow it down and they're going to kick into the corner again yep. and uh, see if they can uh, manipulate the defence here so another there kick goes, into the corner there goes Rumi Alexander just a nice little tap over in the corner there as well and um, good to see Sam Oates on the uh, sideline uh, doing the AR role as well and Pyro to throw the line out in, the uh, guy that got hurt, the captain of the team, uh, Kiwa Wihi Peihana. The throw in is uh, the little ball boy goes, gets the ball back and... Oh, the other one's down there, okay. There we go, taken by uh, Williams Tim Wainanu, who cleans up the uh, ball after he taps it back to himself as well. Well done, uh, Brunton Pratt. Interesting when you look at Naya Tupo, who is, yep. uh, of course, Brother of City Tupu, yes, uh, played uh, Thames Valley that's gone down to Dunedin. Uh, great family, uh, they're standing over there with their Tongan flag and uh, great, great people. Great, great supporters of rugby and their, their children. Naya uh, was always a large prop. 
um, and like City, they love their rugby. It's good to see as uh, Bryce Brunton Proud gets ready to feed the scrum here, taps on the back and then it goes there and gets it back. Is it going to come oh, back clean though from It's not going to be good. There was a hand in there, you're right. Corbin, uh, Corbin Keswick uh, goes down with the ball as well, had to tidy up. Uh, now we're looking at uh, yeah, the number six pick it up for Pyro, which is uh, Nelson Thorne. Nelson Thorne moves out to Hingmin Sok and out to uh, the winger over on the far side, Timothy Wipiri. But a penalty, a penalty. He's come back as the uh, referee. Brian oh. Rogers sees a penalty, so brings it all the way back here. Good advice, Coach. Great advice, yeah, <laughs> from uh, Mark Williams on the sideline here as well. I tell you what, there is good some the real, real good advice. And what's good about it, it's uh, positive. It's helping these young men develop their game of rugby. It's not the negative side of things. Yeah, you might hear the odd word here or there, but it's all about Maya showing his skills and expertise. He's been around in the game of touch for so long. He's refereed at number former world number one, and he does refereeing with rugby as well. And yeah, he's out there helping his team. And good to see you. And, and, and the same with the Hauraki boys. Yeah, Dan and the, down yeah, here on the sideline. Fantastic. You know, so these are people who are doing good out of the game of rugby and these individuals out here playing, so helping out and rolling on and developing their play. It's really good to hear. As Wiki Pehana gets ready to throw in, it's going to go to Cole Williams, Tim Wanui, as it has done all day. Very good uh, line-out work, yeah. isn't he? He's a very skilled line-out operator. Big run here yep. from the captain. Yep, the captain, uh, Wiki Pehana, runs up to the middle there, getting some direction, hopefully, but it's a turnover by the looks of it. The Hodaki Plains collars just the uh, no support there, and it's a penalty as well. Uh, unlucky coming down on it, and um, yeah. Need to shut their mouth, uh, discipline, <laughs> you know. Mate, you're only young first at then, and just let the ref control yeah. the game. 10 metres is 10 metres, and get back and play. So, you know, you got some of them, mate, you got guys right smack in the middle. Oh, oh and that's not gonna. So yeah, very interesting. Uh, that was a wobbly old kick you would have thought would have been picked up. Cricketers will be watching that and think, wow. <laughs> and that's actually very effective, action, wasn't it? You know, it was they were diving and catch it easy. Early jump there by uh, Tim, uh, when you see it way early, but not even straight. No. Must have quite put enough to their hooker, uh, Aidan Harrison, thrown into the line out. Actually, so it's, uh, it's very difficult to throw the ball in with this weather yep. and the wind. And uh, Pyro got out of that pretty well because uh, Horaki threw long and it was crooked. The wind took it towards the goalpost. And Ryan Re Rogers, the referee, picked it up. Pyro ball. And uh, about seven minutes to go to half time. So it'll be interesting to see if uh, Pyro can get another try or Horaki can get another try if it stays the status quo. Yeah, she's a standstill scrum at the stage and yeah. not picked up. Those uh, big boys are struggling to get them, their bodies down a yeah, bit. They, they uh, got underneath, the uh, Hauraki boys are getting underneath them and lifting them up, so they need to get their technique right. Drop their knees. Some good powerful scrummaging by Hodaki Plains College, especially at the front there with Aidan Craigs and uh, Polder Emery in the props. Uh, he hit the acknowledgement of Polder from the sideline as well with a big push there, holding weight at the moment. Polder held really well there. Gets it out to Parker who wants to kick it out. And it holds that right down here for the uh, number 14 for Ben McIntosh. He runs it back very, very strong. Good strong run there by the winger, tackled by Rumi Alexander, very strong as well. Picked up out to the back line it goes. Uh, good little chip there by uh, Lewis Horder. Uh, we'll see uh, Pyro come into the defence. Hingmin Sok picks it up, he's going to kick it out. Does it find the sideline? Not quite, it's down in play. Play continues on. And up comes the uh, number 23. We're hoping it's Luke Hill who kicks it right back down there. And it's going to go out great in the kick. corner. That's a great kick. Well done. Well done there. And that settles down play for a few minutes, four and a half minutes to go before we have half time. Two excellent kicks there, uh, firstly from Pyro, got back on defence, kicked it long, didn't go out, but he kicked it very long and then an excellent return from the Hauraki side, so good to see them using their brains and uh, kicking for space. 
Here we go, the ball into the line out by Captain Kiwawihi Peihana, taken by Cole Williams. Tim Wine and Louis has been all first. Uh, big pass out to Irai Tai. He's going to kick it deep as he. No, nice little tip over the back there to the number 11, uh, the winger for Hodaki Plains, Blake Watts. He's going to run back real strong and tackled by uh, the kicker, uh, real strong as well. So, picking up there, moving on as he carry on through. Polder Emery going up strong. Great tackle by Matthew Charlton there. Into the uh, number six of Connor Walston, who uh, runs a hard for HPC, settling things down from the half back out to uh, the captain Anthony Makia. Puts a little tip three, picks it back up, actually off the foot of uh, Rima Alexander. Held up, but he's gone to ground there. Here's Makia, the captain. And coming on through is Hingmin Sok on the half back. Uh, Horder has the ball into Church and out oh. to the winger, who had to hold on to Macintosh, but not quite. It's going to be a penalty advantage, though, uh, to Hodaki Plains College. So Ben McIntosh wants to get ball back quickly and uh, the boys are eager to tap, they're looking at the clock, it's only three and a half minutes to go in the final of the Colts Cup and it's a big tap out to the far side to Trent Jackson, he's running here, forward, a big tackle, he should have offload, here he goes, ball in hand, moving out to the hooker, is he going to score into the corner, not quite there, it's Aiden Harrison, strong though, back up there to Hodaki, they're running towards the line, ball to ground here, defence is trying to hold strong there by Pyle, Hodaki pushing their way, getting closer to the line. They're only a metre or so away from the line. The back line is calling out for it. Manai Church puts his hands up. Bring it out, bring it out. The big boys want to <laughs> steamroll over the Pairo boys. You ain't going to get it out there, mate. But Pairo looks like Baz. Big Baz Donald ripped the back and has it back for his Pairo team. He's done well, the prop for Pairo. Ah. And it's a penalty. That was a shame, wasn't it? A great work there by uh, Baz, as you yep. said, and he ripped the ball back, then they offended. So, penalty given, quick tap, knock on, is it? What's happening here? What's happening there? The Off the mark, not on the mark there. Oh. So, referees call the back, let's start again. Uh, too eager were the boys from Hodaki <laughs> Plains, they want to score here. They had the score going in the half time, and there's a big run by Polder Emery up the middle. He's just stopped short of the line. The fence has been strong, but a penalty after all of that goes to Pidal. The clapping by their reserves and the coaching and management down there in the tens. Well, he's on Fox's tent. Very happy with that because it's only two minutes to half time at this stage. A lot of the times these teams go for these quick taps, Reno. They're not putting a support mm. player with them and they're taking the tackle. Another example there, they uh, didn't get anybody over the ball and they forced the, well, didn't force the player, but he held on and uh, penalty given and rightly so so that's just a skill they have to learn to take somebody with them when they tap and make sure especially that close to the line that they uh, got support there and can retain the ball very well done by um, Pyro there yep, to defend the that uh, onslaught we hear Peihan is going to throw you can guess this one will yeah. go to Williams, Tim Wainanui He's outstanding, isn't he? Huh? And he's uh, knocked, him, he knocks yeah, there we go. He should have kept that much. <laughs> but yeah, I thought they might have tried something different, but you can kind of see where the call is going to go. I'm not too sure when they will use Lynn Holden, but uh, they've taken it out. Pyro has pushed Hodaki across uh, the other side, and it's a Pyro on line out again. Hodaki will be getting a little frustrated with this, their inability to maintain the ball. And oh, no, uh, oh, no, he's giving it back. Yeah, giving it back. Corner for a scrum must have been a knock on in this summer we didn't quite see but 30 seconds to half time so if Holdo can get a try here it'll be a all tied up so pretty important scrum uh, blind side winger for Horaki is uh, where's their winger I oh, know they're both here and they're both there yep this is going to go ball in hand I want to get it out in the yeah. back line here as well the fullbacks come up come up to the line look here we go deliver he's going to go Makia is going to run, he's going to run in. Oh, it's a knock on. Yeah. Their alignment, the, uh, I think it was the centre, yeah, I can't the remember. Yeah, the centre in 12, yeah, yeah. Church. He was in front Makia. of the ball. Yeah. He was standing in front when the, the uh, second five got the ball and uh, just threw the alignment of the back line out and consequently we knocked it on, or Pyrrell knocked it on. And uh, not good. Not, e not good execution. It's well spotted by the referee though. Young Ryan Rogers. Yep, he's doing well from, out there. Formerly from Waihi College. Good to see these young guys getting in and becoming referees. That's a great career, isn't it, uh, Reno, for yep. if you want to stay in the game of rugby. But a scrum for Horaki. 
In there goes a big push here by Potter, holding strong as Hodaki as the half picks it up oh, out. Go. It goes out to uh, Joel Mickelson. He wants to fall on to their fullback. He nearly beat, beat it right outside. Does the fullback Lewis Horder? He's had a good game, has Lewis Horder, uh, in the first half. Moving across out to the wing there as well. And he's bouncing back in. Does come in in the play, does the uh, winger for Hodaki Plains College, which is uh, Blake Watts, I think it is, out there in number 11. Back into the play and back on the big defence line. And number, the number 5, Trent Jackson, runs a bit high, but gets the ball down to ground. Back on the heavy defence is Pyrrhal. And now to Manai Church, he runs back into the uh, traffic, going to go hard right through the middle, does he quite make it? Not oh, he offloads it! What a great offload to the try scorer, Ben McIntosh, the winger, goes in for Hodaki Plains. Uh, this will take us to half time, it'll be 5 all. Great try there for Ben McIntosh, conversion to come, you'd say, get this. And uh, might, might see a half time score of 12 10, might do, but 10 all at the stage. And I would guess uh, the 23 of uh, Luke Hill. Who's been playing halfback will get this right down the middle. Yeah, Hauraki will be very pleased with that, won't they? Because they had the pressure on and they uh, managed to score right on half time. Pyro will be disappointed because uh, they had a couple of opportunities where they could have cleared and they uh, knocked it on and, and uh, didn't maintain the ball. So all tied up at the moment. I'd expect them to get the kick over. Yeah, you could throw it and, over there, Ross. Uh, they've got there the wind goes. in the second half. Half time, I would guess. Yep. Yep, 12 and 10. And converted by Luke Hill. Which sees HPC out to a 12 points to 10 lead in this Calder Cup final. 12-10 to Pyro. Ah, sorry, to uh, Hauraki. Uh, Pyro hanging on for the last minute there with a slender lead, but uh, Hauraki have got the wind in the second half, mm. and one would think that they should run away with it. But I've got to give uh, credit to Pyro. They've played a very smart game of rugby and have dominated large sections of that first half. It'll be interesting to see uh, if those big fellas get uh, changed or not. Yeah, it will be interesting to see how Daryl Parker approaches this uh, with the changes in the second half. Um, been a big half uh, for both teams as well, and the big boys, they'll be filling it for a pile. Definitely, they ran some good yards. They've actually done really well, it has uh, Baz and uh, Nye uh, yeah. for the pile team. But we've got another second half to come. Uh, bring you all the action for the second half. Going to take a break. Thanks to Bev. And back soon with the second half of the Colter Cup. It is 12-10 uh, here in Waihe.
We're just about to start the uh, second half here. Pyro are now going to be facing a wind that is going straight down the ground to uh, in the Wangamata direction. And Hauraki will have the benefit of the wind. We'll be looking at uh, seeing how they manage to control the ball and use the wind to their advantage. Equally so, uh, Pyro will want to maintain the ball for long periods of time. So a very close game, 12-10, second half starting just about now, 35 minutes to go in the Calder Cup final. Good kick off there by Pardo. Uh, ooh, might be a knock on by Trent Jackson, but yeah, kicked it by Remy Alexander into the second, as you say, Ross. Uh, big 35 minutes coming up, 12-10, advantage to Hodaki playing Spaz Donald, as he has done in the first up, making some big yards already in the early seconds of the second half. Out to Parker, flicks it back to Matthew Charlton. maddie has got the ball, puts it to the ground, releases it, picks it up and goes forward a couple more yards. The experience of Matthew Charlton, who's played in a couple of finals for Pilot previously as well. Looks like this is going to go to Baz Donald, make some more big yards up the middle. Does big Baz and very, very strong, powerful run there by Baz. There's Donald, and that's Tupo uh, going up to make some big yards there as well. Pilda right on the line there, moving out to Eli Tai. He's going to flick out wide, but no support there. Flicks it back up to Parker with a knock on there. Just the hands lets him down there. So, yep, knock on. One-handed football, mate. You're holding the ball one-handed, you're going to lose it. As that's what, exactly what happened, but good defence and a uh, little early uh, inroads by Pyro. They'll be looking to uh, score early yep. on. Well, here we go. This will be uh, Hodaki feeding the scrum here with the uh, uh, halfback Luke Hill. I uh, guarantee you'll most likely see a kick here come from John Mickelson compared to the previous games we've had before with the run it out in the dead zone. So, yeah, I would guess that would happen. Uh, they've got the wind, although it's just died down slightly. But nice feed into the scrum. There's a good, strong balance. Wow, penalty. Young Ryan Reynolds, not Ryan Reynolds, that's the actor Ryan Rogers. Uh, picking up uh, something there as a half. Oh, I think that came from Stu Penny from the sideline. Oh, Stu, big Stu sees on him. Not sure what happened, might have been a knee down or something like that. Yep. Who would know? Kick to the corner. Here comes Remy Alexander. And they will throw to that wonderful line yep, out there. Go. Got there. You can see it already coming. Yep. Wiki Pehana to uh, Williams, to Cole Williams, to Tim Wainanu. The combination's already set. As Johnny Williams walks back with a whole lot of fresh bottle of waters for his <laughs> HPC boys. Johnny been around the game for a long time, huge advocate of all sports and uh, shows his uh, master skills of support all the time with its coaching or just supporting as he watches his HPC boys defend on the try line as Pyro starts making some yardage towards the try line here. Going down, here we go with Bra uh, Prout picking up to Parker, is Parker going to move it out? Good off though, got an over Well there. done Kyle oh. Parker, oh! Just not, not getting the support over. play. Yep. Uh, it's that one hand play again, like you say, Ross. Uh, I'm yep. trying to find it, but no one's around him. And and, and what what also happened there was that he went to ground and there was no nobody over yep, the ball. No Horaki got the ball back straight away, hands on the ball, penalty, relieving time. And I think it's just just perhaps Pyro trying a little too hard there. They needed to put the big fellas up and uh, just get some of those defenders out of that back line. But uh, good play from Horaki. All right, looks like uh, we've seen, uh, yeah, okay, so on Ty was still out there. He's moved over to the wing where uh, Hing Min Sok has come back to uh, fullback role at this stage in this play of the second half. Referee's blown, something must be on the field, is it? Yep. Bit of dead break, got to clean the field off so the boys don't get any injuries. Um, just part of the game as the hooker throws it in. Aiden Harrison for HPC. Good throw, big long pass out there. Missed passing, moving out to... Um, Manaya Church flicks it out to the winger outside here, which is Blake Watts. He's going to go around the outside, but might be slightly head high. Yes, Stu Penny saw that, called it from the sideline. Uh, the tackle on Watts and the chip over the top there. The old kick down there is Heng Min Sok going to be able to control this. He's going to let it go, let it go over the side. We're going to bring it back, but I would guess he's going to run it out. Wow, wow. 
the coach will be pulling his hair out there with uh, Daryl Parker down there. We're thinking, what was he doing? Uh, not necessarily uh, a good decision there. All he had to do was force the ball, and uh, he waited for it to go be a uh, dead ball, but it didn't. He just needed to force it, get a 22 drop out. He's put his team in a, in a very difficult position here, right on their goal line. Um, I'm not sure what uh, the referee's doing here. It's a little bit of a hold up. A little bit of a lecture for some of the Pyro boys. This is a bit of water for uh, Hing Min Sook. I think took a bit of a knock when he tried yeah. to run that out. Uh, we saw that earlier in the previous game there and it didn't work out well for that team. But anyway, uh, into this game here, it looks like a couple of words just with the captain. Uh, Kiwa Wehi Peihana and um, his mate in the line now, Cole Williams, Tim Wainanui. So back to the scrum. Here we go. Scrum time now. Um, Whose feet is it? All right. Yeah, um, no, I think it's um, front and front. Pyro has it at the moment, so I think it must so be the knock on there somewhere. But here we go, the feeling by young Bryce, uh, front and front, good tap on the back there, get it back there, and where's he going to pass it to? Because a big scrum, big push there, up to Rumi Alexander, he's going to have on the outside. He's going to run out of space. Run out of space. Good mileage though, wasn't it? A good, yeah, good effort yards. to clear his goal line there and make 20 metres to come out. He uh, was always going to be forced out, but he didn't have any options, so well done. It's a good line out there, good tap on there, well picked up by the number four, uh, Sean White for Hodaki. Well recovered there as well because uh, went astray for a little bit. Picked up there by Hill, moving on out to the number six there, who was Connor Walston. Flicks it out wide there to Manaya Church. Knock on. Knock on. Schools uh, leading them down there, uh, Reno. Yep. Simple pass, dropped, eyes up, and looked at the opposition. But uh, yeah, they're hanging on here, Pyro, and they've just got to take their time, clear their goal line, and uh, make sure that they can exit safely. Prout's going to feed the uh, scrum here as well, and uh, I'm guessing the way to send themselves up here, Pyro, looking like Pyro, Kyle Parker may want to kick this down and get out of here. We'll see what happens, but his other games are showing they'll want to run this. Yeah, nothing, nothing. Alexander doesn't stone. look like he's set to run, but Ido Atai over the other side does, though. <laughs> he wants to run. Alexander sits there thinking, I want to rest, mate. <laughs> oh, he's thinking of see his brothers down here as well. Great uh, to on the see him. Oh, Matai here carrying the water. Water, water, water. Hey, Matai. There he is down there doing his job for the uh, Potter of College Chess 15. And then goes the ball. Brunson Prout feeds the scrum. Big scrum, big scrum there by Hodaki Plains College. It's a good strong Turn scrum. Over, Turnover. Right. Oh, must have been something wrong there. Wow. Really, early push perhaps, I'm not sure. I'm not a referee, but I didn't know what that was for. Maybe an early push, who knows. But it looked, uh, yeah. it looked like it was a good turnover to me, but uh, referee saw something there. Tap and go this way, come this way, come this way, come this way. No, they've seen it too late. Yeah, come, come here, but yeah, they're all ready. Yeah, go, Ooh. go, Rima's going to run through. He's looking for the offload. Yep, yeah, back well to Cole Timuanu uh, Williams. Williams Timuanu. Good settle up there for Cole, young Cole, but a turn over there. Hodaki picks over Polder Emery running back strong into the uh, pile team. They uh, let their go pile. HPC uh, pick up the benefit from the halfback. Well, now the fullback, uh, Lewis Horta, he coming to pick that ball up as well. Good run out wide to uh, McIntosh to try, try score earlier in the piece just before half time. Uh, good run for him up to the 22 of Pidal now and the Pidal team's trying to go over top by over the top and the referee's called it a penalty. Matthew Charlton. Yeah, Matthew Number Charlton. Yeah. doing some great work in the, uh, in the loose. He's very quick to the uh, breakdown and he gets around the traps really quickly so he's having a great game. Haraki building a bit of pressure here. Yeah, the They're tap and go. go. Luke Hill flicks it out to Horda, who wants to move oh, it out to Jackson. Back. Moving out to uh, oh. Walston, who flicks it out wide to the uh, number 11. Manaya Church is going to run him, but Cole Williams Tiamon, who holds him up strong. Body all tackled, but goes to ground here as well. Well done. Picked up by uh, Luke Hill to move it out. Not back, so there we go. Hill has it, the uh, halfback, the tall halfback for Hodaki has the ball at the moment, so back on the 22 is he going to have a scrum, but the way these youngsters are playing, they want to tap and run, I would guess. Uh, he's going for a kick. Good Rest time, boys. Good option, right in front. Right, yeah, exactly. Puts it Take, out to five points, and, points uh, 
you know, they've had a bit of pressure on here. The boys from Pyro have done some remarkable work getting back in defence, but the pressure's building, isn't it, Greeno? And yeah. uh, I think it's a good good uh, option to take the kick if it goes over, of course, um, but it uh, gives everybody a breather and it pushes it out just a little bit more to uh, five points if it goes over. Some great work being done there by both teams at the moment. Oh, get off the back. <laughs> Here's my. he's on there talking to his team, revving them up, giving them everything they need. Tell you what, it was quite a quiet little still moment then. <laughs> it was, until we spotted Mr Williams. Here he goes, concentrating on his kick. He kicks it deep. Let's make them go and get the ball to get it back to halfway. So is there going to be a change over here as well? It looks like there's going to be a change for uh, one of the team here. And that looks like Trent Jackson's day is over at the office. Uh, well done to the uh, lock, Trent Jackson. Good to see you sporting the mullet there as well. So he's played well. Uh, coming on is Cooper Bennett to uh, replace uh, Trent. So well done, well there, well done effort there by Mr. Jackson uh, for the final for his HPC team in the Colter Cup, and we see uh, Cooper Bennett run on in the number 16, uh, bring a good game. So yeah, well done. Uh, anyway, moving on now for the ball to get back. <laughs> you can see why he kicked it real deep. So Rimu's taking his time, heading back to uh, halfway, get in there and give the big boys a bit of a rest and. Corbin Keswick, Cheswick is ready to run, he's 100 miles an hour, off he goes to chase the ball, but Matthew Charlton's got that covered, and controls great it kick. back, well done, great kick, Brunton proud out to Alexander, flicks it out to Eli Tai, who uh, speeds his first tackle but gets back onto him, as uh, Manaya Church held by uh, Anthony Makiha, Brunton proud up to Big Bears, who's going to run some more big yards, he's had a great day at the office, has Big Bears, uh, Kiwa Wihipehana, the captain, uh, holds on to just Running up there does the uh, number two for Pyrrhon. Front and proud out to Cheswick, who's going to run hard. Good rangey player moving forward, flicks it on to Charlton. One hand pass and uh, trying to flick the players around as Matthew Charlton goes to ground. And we would see Prout, uh, Prout pick this up up to Big Bears. Another second run in this phase. Keep going, Bears. He's going. He's held up though. He's going to go to ground. There he goes. And must have been a knock on there. Good strong young runs here by uh, the pilot team, but yeah, just these little mistakes that count, unfortunately, but into the hands of HPC, they get the ball to feed into the scrum, does their halfback, uh, Luke Hill. Interesting scrum here, I wonder whether they uh, got enough energy pile to put a big scrum in, I think they're a bit high in the scrum, both props are very high, and uh, Horaki are getting uh, pretty good leverage on them upwards i mean <laughs> <laughs> here we go yeah it's just a strong held scrum there well done by big hpc kick big kick coming up there from the first five uh joel mickelson right. makes a run run using the win to his advantage where uh selwyn taiwa is going to bring it back he's going to run it back he has no Ooh. chance of kicking it oh i thought that pass there to ming suk uh, was going to be touch and go uh look at that he's got it back but there's no one there to pick up Prout has just been cleaned out of half back. Uh, the ball's still at Pyro's side, but HPC will go to the top of this and get it back. Well done, but a penalty. Great clearing kick from Hauraki. We've been saying all day, haven't we, Reno, yeah. Reno to, uh, to kick long with the wind, and uh, Hauraki are certainly showing how to get field position quite easily with accurate kick. Uh, split the defence and a good chase line. Mm. Certainly put the pressure on the Pyro boys, and uh, some of them are struggling to get back. But uh, hanging in there, looks like a change coming up yeah, on the Yeah, you see Carlos the over there warming up. Uh, Carlos getting ready to run on, he's talking to uh, Sam Oates, the sideline, uh, touching the AR. So Rima Alexander will kick this in the touch, I would guess, and you will see a change come on here for Pyro. Big Carlos will come on. Tainga hui. He's taking place yeah, replacing of course uh, the number six who is Nelson Thorne. Uh, good game by Nelson Thorne. His parents will be pre uh, happy with his performance in the first half and he had an injury not so long ago but good to see the young man back out there, Nelson Thorne. Is he a line out jumper? I don't uh, remember uh, uh, It's all been one man in this one yeah, but uh, so yeah, they might use him. Um, he's we'll done well, goes. number four. He's outstanding for yeah. Pyrrhal. He's yeah. uh, won all their ball and thrown his way. He didn't get that one quite accurately done but Outstanding effort. 
It's a good crook across the field. Look, uh, making oh, sure they're awake there. Cool. And uh, look at the bounce oh. over the uh, back of the head of uh, young Timothy Weepery. Uh, he had the ball there looking at it, but just bounced over his head. And just the way the ball goes and how it goes in the uh, general play. Another change, right? Look like we're going to have a bit of a change here for, I would guess it'll be um, Hodaki. All right, number 10, Joel Mickelson going on. So, One uh, kick made yep. 40 metres there, didn't 20. they? That's right, number Simple. 20, Brandon Gear. Brandon Gear's on for his part of the uh, finals coming in. So uh, off goes Joel Mickelson and uh, Brandon Gear's come on. Yep, there we go, that combination again, been working well all day. So uh, keep it together yeah. and they keep it going. Polo Brunton proud and want the ball back to uh, get out to Rima Alexander, who's moved in the first half. He's going to kick it. He wants to get out of here. Doing the right thing, but Lewis Horder has uh, something different. He wants to run back. Rima beats Rima Alexander, the kicker. Beats the second uh, tackle of Holden. Good little chip over. This guy's playing outstanding. What a good return there by Lewis Horder. But unfortunately, that little knock on there by the number eight, Caleb Marshall. Very important phase here, 49 minutes gone, 50 minutes gone and a uh, big scrum for Horaki and equally big defensive scrum here. Um, I no doubt Pyro will want to uh, have a secure scrum here but yeah. uh, look for a big scrum from Horaki. Put the pressure on. Not sure whether Hora uh, Pyro will be running this out or kicking it out. I've got to win the scrum <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, anything's possible is that they have shown Ross. Uh, look, they've got it back there. Proud's going to get it back to Alexander. He'll kick this. Yeah. And there we go. He was always standing to kick this and ready to go. So well done. Want to get out of here. It's just down here, the ball. And uh, look, they're both going to jump over it. <laughs> So there we go, uh, Hodaki ball. Stand down, Nye. Oh, yeah, Nye's down, yeah. Uh, Nye Tupo is down at the moment, so a bit of an ankle injury. You might see someone else warming up over there. We can see them uh, going hard out, moving back and forth. There's, uh, I would guess, one of the reserve uh, forwards. We might see um, one of them come on, looks like uh, Chase Cozzi at the moment. Yeah, prop, so. No, he's uh, done well actually. Uh, Shades, as I said before, the Wanganui game a couple of years ago with City. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> that was a good game. <laughs> in Wanganui and uh, City played the whole game. He actually uh, did incredibly well. But very uh, finely balanced game here. Only five points in it, you know. And uh, I think Hauraki are sensing uh, a change in the defence here. They, they're just looking a little bit fresher, aren't they? Yep. But... Uh, Every moment that uh, Maya Williams gets on there, he's encouraging the boys and, and uh, they're they uh, hanging in there. That's very tense. Yeah, interesting little chats going on here while we have a little break there while we get uh, nice sorted out at the moment, getting his boot back on as well. So just taking, he must have had a bit of a sore ankle, but he's put his brace back on, he's ready to get up and get back into it. How long he will last will be the telling story, especially when it comes to the scrum. He's a very vocal hooker. Uh, Aidan Harrison is talking about something about refereeing a little minute ago. He wants to flow through the ball and he wants the team to go. They've got the win at their advantage. Look, they're five points up at this stage. Um, 20 minutes to go in this final for the Colter Cup. And uh, one team at the end of it, Day Ross, is going to be the uh, champions. Yeah. HBC have been strong over the competition over this kind of strange year yeah. of rugby in general. But here we go. Here we go. A lot to play for in the next 10 minutes. Yeah. Oh, there we go, well done and well taken, but not right, you know, the number raised, oh. uh, Caleb Marshall is just he, one of those uh, things, free kick. Yeah, I don't think he got the uh, call clear because he did went to throw it and balked it, so uh, Rogers, the referee, penalised him, short arm penalty. It amazes me, you know, at this kind of level of first 15 rugby where they're uh, at the pedestal of their career and just these type of calls, some of these players don't understand. Yeah, I, I, I think, uh, you know, some of these some of these young players, 
often don't quite understand all the rules yeah. and uh, often uh, rush things, there's an example. Yeah, and, right uh, there, yeah. you know, instead of just slowing things down, taking a deep breath, thinking about what's going to happen, they, they play in the moment. Yeah. And instead of thinking, what are we going to do if we kick it? How are we going to control the ball after that? And what are we going to execute? So that comes down to coaching and time and uh, in the game. And I think a lot of these guys tend to rush things a bit. But that's just the age, isn't it, mate? Yeah, it is. It is. You know, they're just ready to go. They want to go 100 miles an hour. We've seen it all day. Yeah. Uh, some different stuff that we're so used to in structured yeah. rugby games. These young kids just want to get the ball and run as they do now. Feed it out to the back line. Oh, and there's a knock on. Rumi Alexander will be thinking, so well, that's a bit of justice here. How far is the vantage going to go with a good run by Kyle Parker? Straight up the middle there. And he got the ball ripped away from him and kicked it down, using the wind to their, uh, to their advantage here. Hing Min Sook gets the ball. He'll go run straight up. He ain't going to kick. It. There's no way he's going to kick it. He just wants to go forward. As he does, uh, the fullback now. Winger come fullback. Uh, Brunton Prout will have settled us down there to Big Carlos running up the middle. And is he going to go low? Might be a bit high, but he's making some good yards over the halfway for Pidal. Brunton Prout moves out to Big Baz going forward. Baz has been strong all day, pumping his legs and his doing himself proud too for his uh, team and his family back home in Pidal. So well done, Baz. Good yardage there made by him and a penalty. Uh, well deserved as well. So just a couple of things off the ball there, obviously. Kihu, uh, Kiwa Wihi Pehana must have seen something that Polder Emery had done and given a bit of a push. Here yeah. comes Remo Alexander. Slow it down, kick it into the corner, I would guess. And hopefully um, he's not asking Mr. Williams, can I kick this out into the corner? <laughs> Horaki didn't react to the referee. He said, hands out, hands yeah. out, hands out, three times. No, none of them heard him, obviously, and uh, penalty uh, followed. So, you know, just excitement, uh, but very close game again. Five minutes, I mean, uh, five points separate these two teams. Pyro Ball going to number four at the front. He's got a field day there. <laughs> yeah, he's having a good game. Kyle Parker moves, misses out tyre, flicks it out to Alexander. He wants to bring Ooh. it right out wide to tyre. If that had gone to hand, it would have been interesting, but I think tapped on there by, obviously, yeah. uh, the winger McIntosh, who was a try scorer earlier. Uh, might have saved the day for HBC out wide, but um, yep, knock on time for another scrum this will be interesting because they can see the change Cossie has come over here now he's uh, by Stu Pindy on the sideline and we are going to see the change here and we will see uh, a nine foot two Tupo may come off I would guess uh, the ankle so the prop is going on and there goes Nye uh, making his day out of the office he's had a great game has the uh, young Tupo and see his family over there ringing their bell with oh, their tongue wonderful Great family, great yeah, family. Yeah, uh, awesome. Awesome to see, and I love the way they support their sons, Lindbon and, and uh, you know, now Nye. A great family, and of course, City. Yeah, yeah. Always there, always at the uh, Valley Games. You'll always hear uh, the bell and everything going. They're so proud of the uh, family playing sports, and a great day. Well done to uh, Nye. He's over to see his family. He'll go see them, give them a hug, and be happy. Yep. Well done, my son. There it is, and that's what it's about. Uh, when you're playing at these kind of levels of rugby. Uh, the competition is the Colter Cup today. One of these teams is going to walk away with this and at the mm. moment, five point the advantage. Uh, I'm starting to get tense, so, you know. Yeah, 15 minutes it's ago. Not, not a big uh, separation in the uh, scoreboard here. Very impressed. I keep saying it, this uh, Cole Williams to Mononui. Four, number four. Yep. Pyro, fantastic line out work. Great lifters, obviously. There we go, Parker has the ball, flicks it out to Ty and moving it, kicking it through there is Ed Ayer Ty. a good choice. Yeah, it wasn't the best choice to do it today, but hey, Great it is what team. it is. Uh, Hing Ming Sook watching the ball, looking behind to see if any players are coming. Is he going to let it go over the line? No, he picks it up. Oh, Mark, what is he saying, Mark? <laughs> yeah, interesting, eh, Kang? That's something new that we've never seen before. Um, <laughs> He's not played fullback, obviously, and he's turned it over. Um, just something uh, you don't really see. But oh, what we carry on with the play here? Um, Maybe he thought that was over the five meter line was the goal line. He might have thought that too. Yeah. Or, yeah. Not sure what was going on anyway. there. He was calling out Mark, Mark, but it was along the ground. In HBC, uh, are right on the line here. Oh, try, try. A try. That's a try. Your, your man, uh, what's his name? 14 for Pyro, he... Uh, yeah, that's number 7 who got the try, that's yeah. Ewan Wright. Uh, but number 40, Hang Min Sok, uh, yeah. yeah, very confused in there. Um, yeah, not sure, I don't, I'm not sure how long he's played the game, but that was a pretty basic mistake. Look at that, Ben McIntosh. 
wearing up his team, keep fighting, he's saying to his boys, um, it's only 2010, there's still another 14 minutes to go in this game. Hey, just one of those things that uh, you don't yeah. really see at this level of rugby, but you I'm carry not. around with the game and HPC carried on playing to the advantage and scored the five points. Very close game, actually. Both teams have been uh, really at each other's throats, haven't they? So, uh, credit to both sides for the way they're fighting so hard for this cup. The Calder Cup, very important trophy for uh, secondary school rugby here in Thames Valley. And uh, Horaki just took a little step then to uh, re regain the cup. I I'm not sure who holds it at the moment. I don't know. Yeah, I think it is actually uh, Horaki oh, okay. last year in Pot, if I remember rightly. Yeah, um, yeah pretty sure it's them. 1938, the cup's been around and brought, brought into this competition. Uh, a bit of history here by Robert Coulter, who was a parliamentarian. And this kick goes over. And it's just Ooh, saved. saved. Yeah, so the scoreline stands only a 10 point uh, buffer at this stage. Uh, Hodaki Plains College at 20, Pairo at 10. So we still got 13 minutes to go in the final game. Long game? Yeah. Yeah, she's a long game. The big boys it's out been here. been a long day. Yeah, no, but it seems to be uh, being played for a long time. But anyhow, anybody can take this out. It'll be interesting to see who controls the kickoff, who retains the ball, who's got uh, their uh, next phases sorted because uh, both tides have been at each other's yep. throats. There are a few tied boys out there as well. Who wants it over the oh, next uh, 30 seven minutes? A great tackle there by Matthew Charlton uh, on the opposition player there. I think it was uh, Connor Walston who uh, caught the ball from the kickoff. Some very strong runs there. Now look at that number 17 uh, for Pairo is uh, Takihiro Uwatuku who's uh, come in big bears who's uh, played outstanding for nearly 60 minutes. Well done to Bears Donald. But a bit of a change here. Back to of course uh, Takahiro uh, Uwatuku Taka they call him. This Taka we'll call him Taka today. So he's back out there playing out to Parker who's been tackled well by Manaya Church there held up couldn't offload the ball. His young Kyle Parker advantage now to HPC you know. They carried on, they picked up, carried on as Pidal. Both yep. uh, coaching groups are getting uh, nervous and uh, issuing instructions, but uh, very important phase with just on uh, 10 minutes to go, is it? Yeah, 10 yeah, minutes to go, 12 minutes to go. So very important that Pyrrell come out of this field position down on attack. Uh, with points if they can. All the actions happening on the field, even our cameraman Bevan Jenkinson doing a few moves while oh, going he's on there. Stuff. <laughs> yeah, he's catching out, he's uh, we stand there getting a bit cold. But uh yeah he's doing a bit of movement going on there. Let's get back to the action out there on the footy field as the uh, ball gets set to go into the scrum there by uh, young Proud picked up by Cheswick. Good run by the number eight and off to uh, Matthew Charlton's had a strong game uh, for Potter running towards the line. Uh, looking like they got a penalty advantage here does Pyro, oh, that's a good tackle on Carlos and now we've got big Tucker running up the middle there, he wants to go towards the line there's only one way he knows and that's a try light and is that Bears back into the play, Bears gets it, is he going to get over the line, use his strength to get over the line, does Bears get to the ref is on the line as well, looks like he's part of HPC making the tackle, but he's trying to see okay, whether or not penalty. it's a try but it's a penalty Very sustained effort here isn't it Reno they're um, putting the big clamp on 10 points difference, uh, 7 point try would be lovely here. Yeah, then it'll try. make an exciting game the last 10 minutes. Yeah, try and uh, a conversion would be very handy for Pyro. Uh, equally so uh, with the wind. Looks like uh, Horaki will uh, hopefully get a tidy at here, but uh, I think Pyro got the weight uh, at their favour with the new guy coming on. It's made a bit of a, yep. a difference. Uh, strong runs, that's not criticising Nye. Nye played fantastically well. Both those big boys played well for Pyro, but uh, it's very, very tense at the moment. Getting down to under, well, we're under 10 minutes ago in this final for the Colter Cup. Uh, Prout's going to feed the scrum here, and here yeah, Pyro will be pushing to get a try here as up comes the scrum. Let's get this all sorted. So the penalty ended up being a scrum for Pyro. That's what they wanted. They're, why not when you're that close to the try line? And, they want to get some nice ball out into their back line. The defence structure is looking pretty good for Hodaki as well. Uh, getting ready to wait the attack for Pyro. Good holding strong scrum there picked up by Tesla. Corbin Tesla who's running towards the line. He nearly got there himself. Not a bad try and not a bad effort by the young man there from Pyro College. Uh, flicks it up. There we go. There's uh, Tucker. 
Or is there Clayton Cosy? Might be Clayton Cosy making up the yards there as well. Chase Cosy, Chase Cosy making the yards. And is he going to make up for his little mistake? And he's been taken out over the sideline. Good defence by Hodaki Plains College. Well defended there uh, on Hing Ming Suk. Uh, trying to get on the try line there. So it looks like they've moved, um, obviously, so entire back to full back and move um, Young Suk out to the uh, wing. Great defence, wasn't it? And, good uh, defence. Scrambling defence. Uh, made sure he went out. Oh, number four had a good crack at that. But uh, I think Hodaki will clear the line here. Going forward in the mall. Yep. So I want to clear their line and uh, just relieve a bit of this pressure that's building. Oh, oh penalty. It's a penalty. Just Ooh. as you think that's going to happen, they're going to move forward. Uh -huh. Wow. Penalty. What are they going to do? I'd... He's going to kick to the line, I would go, go for a line out and try and gather the ball. It'll go for the two and four again, I would guess, for Pido and been working well all day then try and push their way over the line yeah they, it's, it's what happened once they get the ball isn't it you yeah. know they, they're almost guaranteed to get the ball if everything goes right but it's actually putting together some phases that's going to result in retaining the ball and getting across the line so we'll see and it goes there we go two four combination we're going all day like that as well well done to those two and here we go with the big push. They're going to try and drive it, drive it in uh, Brunton Prout. The halfback, they're calling for them to drive. They're up a bit high, might try and get lower here. They're pushing and pushing and driving. The ref's gone around to have a good look at this. The ball's Not coming loose and out to Prout, moves it out to the back line. Parker, he had to spin it out and he's pretty well give a hospital. Oh, there's the head high on uh, Rumor Alexander. He's going to play advantage, gets it out wide. There's big Carlos running through the middle, trying to move, uh, move ways through. Tim and uh, Williams Cole moves it through. Iroh Tai beats the first man in the tackle. He gets over. He's over the line. Is he going to get down? Not quite. They hold him up. Great defence. Great defence by Hodaki Plains. Flicking it out wide. Is that the move that Pido does? And they go down on the try line. No, not quite. They've come up short. And they right. get the try. Right. It is a try. We've got a very exciting last and seven minutes. Right, yeah, this is going to... There we go. And I would guess it might have been uh, the captain, Kiwi Wiki Pehana, who scored the try there. Number nine, Bryson Prout, the halfback. There you go, the little halfback for the Prout family. Uh, all the family, May and the family, they'd be happy with the young fella. Um, Bryson scoring a try there as well from a very, very strong effort by Pyro. Smart rugby, won it from Pyro. They uh, used the big fellas up front, they bashed away, bashed away. And uh, right in front of the uh, post is the kicker. Yeah. Very He's important try, and we're in for a humdinger of the last uh, six minutes. Uh, once this kick, I expect, will go over. Straight down the does. middle. There we go. Flynn held and comes back in the kick there. Rumor goes, here, mate, you kick it. I'll go on a bit astray with the last couple of kicks. Uh, the lock. Ooh. This is a good final. This this is the two top teams that have played well over this kind of strange year of uh, secondary school rugby. Look, they started late in the term, uh, but to be playing finals, and you would think we're in spring weather. It's been an indifferent day weather-wise. Bit of rain earlier on. We had some cold weather, sunny weather, blue skies. But is if I remember rightly, of Ross, you see the mountain over there. It's going to be all good. Yeah, that's right. And uh, you know, you've got to give credit to both these teams. It's pretty passionate rugby and. Uh, I just admire what they're doing. It's been pretty patterned. Both teams have endeavoured to do uh, move the ball around. So uh, very tense last six minutes now, or last five minutes. Yeah, there we go. Oh, up in the air, I'm guessing uh, Parker. Oh, 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 wow. Wow, Lucky that escape. was the last thing they'd wanted, I would have guessed. <laughs> Who was calling for their ball? Now, I thought Carlos had to be one part. Um, then Corbin uh, Tiswick went into it. So it's going to be a knock on. Yeah, it's got to be a knock-on. He knocked it on from the kickoff, but yeah. uh, could have quite easily fallen at his feet and just uh, landed inside the uh, dead ball line. Could have been a try. So, very serious mistake from uh, Pyro there. So, Horaki have got the field position here. It'll be interesting to see if they can maintain this. Pyro ball. Pyro ball. Really? Yeah. How He's did he get a knock that? on there from... Um no, he One knocked it forward on the kick, didn't he? Well, that's what I thought. Too. Oh, well, we're, anyway. we're miles away. <laughs> and I, I'm, I'm, Our I'm, young I'm, eyes can't see that yeah, far. I can't see that far either. It's just a blur, but uh, I would have thought they knocked it on on the kick. But anyhow. Yeah. Here we go, we're, Brunson Prout, the feed to scrum. There's going to be a strong scrum to hold this push from... Uh, ooh, oh, there's, oh, there's an awkward good. pass. 
Wow, and carry it back. This will be a five meter scrum for uh, Hauraki Plains. In a, in a strange way, that was uh, what I thought would have happened uh, uh, the movement before. I yeah, don't yeah. quite. He must have got a hand to it to uh, knock it on uh, in the in the kick chase. So Hauraki got another opportunity here to uh, put the put the heat on. Looking at their backline structure, how Hauraki have uh, got themselves set up there. Look, we see number twenty, uh, Brandon Greer, who's come on into the centre pairing. Uh, at this stage as well, so I'm thinking Manaya Church must have gone off to uh, have a rest his day at the office is all done So um, no, he's moved in the first five uh, Manaya Church, so they changed it around a bit uh, The first five has actually gone off Joel Mickelson, big strong run by the captain Anthony Makiha Big Great strong run there <gasps> Manaya Church has gone back behind Manaya Church, look at that covering to, for, for defence here Hang Min Sook has Lewis Horder, who wants to hold him they're getting it back there and it's going to be a penalty. A penalty as well, not rolling away. So, uh, tap, tap, uh, ooh, I would guess a tap, there we go. Out wide they go, not in the right place. So what's he going to do here? Interesting, you know, when uh, the ball's not kicked from the mark the referee gives you, uh, you have to take the kick where the referee says he hadn't even made the mark, so that's no. why he's pulled it up. I'd be tempted here to take the points myself, but oh, they're, they're going to do the old wall. Oh, Love I it. haven't seen that for a yeah, long time. Yeah, great eh? stuff. Oh, he's going to get blindsided there. Oh, it's out. Here we go. And they're going, going to go for the for corner. McIntosh, second try for McIntosh. Is he held up? He is. No, he's uh, got it. He's got it down. That will seal the game, I would guess, uh, with a couple of minutes to go. Two tries from um, Ben McIntosh. He uh, just scooted off into the corner and didn't quite get held up. Try number 14, Ben McIntosh. So 25-17 uh, is the score at the moment. Mm -hmm. Uh, with the uh, conversion to come out wide there from of course uh, the halfback Luke Hill to try and convert this try. Set piece move, wasn't yep, it? The old wall, piece, they yeah. put the wall in, <laughs> pass it to one member in the wall, did a dummy run around the outside. Great, great uh, creative uh, rugby but uh, well taken try at a very crucial part. Uh, that would just about see the game. Yep, that'll be a done. Done deal now because it's going to run out of time. The kicker will take as long as he's allowed to to kick the goal. And... Uh, the, yeah. the last three players, I would guess, for HBC making their way around yeah, to the halfway, they'll, half they'll come in well, but and, and play about a minute and a half of what's left of this game. But it's um, been a good game. HBC have not given up uh, for the full 80. They've been going and going and going. Mind you, in saying that Pardo has done exactly the same yeah. as well. So both teams are uh, going battle to battle here. And there we go, three players are going on. The remainder of the HBC players uh, getting a bit of game time. Kick very important. 17, 5, 3, 8, 10 point, is it over? No, nah, just going to come up short, just uh, falling short of the post and run back to the pile of 10, they're running back with a bit of energy, a few changes, 11, 8 and 14, so the try scorer, double try scorer Ben McIntosh has gone off, uh, we see Caleb Marshall go off as well and Blake Watts, so a big change here uh, for the rest of the players to come on to the uh, paddock, Mason Hammond. Uh, Max Heaven as well uh, and James Riding. So uh, out there are uh, they. James come out onto the wing. I see. Uh, quick little kick off and Hodaki want to run back as strong as they do. Remy Alexander misses the tackle there and on the on the player who's running really strong there is uh, Manaya Church. It's a good run there by Manaya Church. Very strong run. Church back to half back and uh, moves it out to uh, Case Cooper, who's uh, on the field as well. Uh, Case Cooper in the number 18. Um, just making it up to the 22 of Pyro. As the players call out safety here, safety here, let's keep them down here, let's shut them down here and we'll get the result as it is. Great. It's out of the uh, ballpark with an eight point difference though between uh, the final score. Look at 70 minute now on the dot. So we're in the referee's hands at this stage. HBC are kind of celebrating already. They know they won this. Pyro can't get anywhere near eight points. Uh, something outrageous happens, but. This could see the last scrum of today's big Holter Cup final. And, and uh, Reno, you know, deserved winners, aren't yep. they, Hauraki? They uh, played a smart game, took the points when they were needed, took that penalty move, got the buffer, and uh, they're playing out time. 70 minutes up on the clock, so I would suggest that we're in, as you said, referee's time. Uh, kick to touch is coming up, or perhaps... Um, oh, it doesn't matter. They're not going to have time, I don't no. think, to uh, get score twice. They need a good move here, especially yeah. from uh, the back of the scrum. Yeah, Proud will pick it up, and Kyle Park will run this. He hasn't quite got it out right and correctly. It's gone off, and there's the opportunist try. That will seal the deal today here in Waihee, number six. 
Connor Wilston scores the uh, try and you can see the team celebrating already. Pardo heads it down. Uh, just a slight little mistake there uh, by the halfback for Pardo and uh, that's the day it is. Uh, yeah, the, score doesn't, uh, the score doesn't really reflect no. uh, how this game has no, been played. And, and to be fair, Pardo have done an extremely... Uh, played an extremely great game so congratulations to uh, Horaki I'll go over and uh, get myself organised thank you Reno for no, the wonderful you, word thank that you. you do for the Thames Valley Rugby Union and it's been a great day of schoolboy rugby here at Waihi Athletic Rugby Club thank you Ross yeah, cheers, thank mate. you mate uh, he's going to head over there do the formalities he said hand out the medals and the captain's going to have a go at the kick it is Anthony Makia or is it going to be Manai Church Anthony Makia puts the seal on the kick that is it, 32 17 is your final score. Congratulations to Hodaki Plains College. They are back to back Culture Cup winners uh, for 2020 as well. Their earlier game, uh, Hodaki Plains College Black played in the under 15 plate final against uh, Te Aroha. Te Aroha, good strong winners over that final, so congratulations to Te Aroha. Uh, Mercury Bay and the Whangamata, that was a hell of a game for the first 15 plate. Whangamata winning by one point at the end there as well and got back uh, there just like that right at the end there, 25 24. Uh, Waihi College, Mercury Bay. Uh, the Waihi boys and Mercury Bay came to a draw. Uh, Mercury Bay winning the first round will carry on through to the tournament next weekend in Taupo. So a draw 26 all I think it was. But this game 32-17 sees the curtain comes down on the 10th Valley Secondary School competition. Uh, the finals being played here in Waihi. So uh, well done and thank you to uh, everyone associated with 10th Valley Rugby. Senior Rugby Development Officer Marcus Howie. Community Rugby Officer Caitlin Russell, Scott Day who's the Junior Rugby Development Officer as well, uh, to all the board members here run associated back there at the Thames Valley Headquarters, uh, to the CEO, uh, to Di who does all the work there at the admin side of it, well done you put on a good show today here in Waihi, it's strange circumstances but it's the way finals footy has been and take my hat off to everyone here at Waihi Athletic Rugby as well because they've turned on a great venue as they did at the previous finals and to everyone that works over there and uh, yeah, being part of today, it's been a great day. Uh, everyone associated with it, yourself there, Bev. Enjoyed the day? I don't really enjoy. I've really enjoyed it, mate. Great finals, um, all four. The scoreline here probably doesn't really no. do, show this tale. Just a couple of times the Pyro let themselves down, unfortunately. Great run for Hodaki fans. Thanks very much, Reno Wilkinson, for your That's effort today. Um, four games in and out with other commentators. <laughs> I was going to join you, but just did, uh, had to change the setup a lot. Um, anyway, folks, if you want to watch the presentation, it will be on a new live stream. Yeah, Thames Valley uh, Swamp Foxes Facebook page. On the Thames Valley yep. Swamp Foxes page, yep. Um, we're going to sign off. Thanks very much yep. for tuning in, everyone. Um, and yeah, What's your next one? What's your next afternoon. one you're doing? I don't know, actually. I, I, I'm waiting. Okay, you're waiting. Yeah. Mate, it's if been you've good got anything out there, with you. though, get in touch with yeah, me. Yeah, Best yeah, broadcasting. You see him on Facebook. Catch up with him. And, um, congratulations to all the teams and uh, to everyone that's been part of today as well. It's been a great day here on Waikiki and... Yeah, thank you. I hope you enjoyed the live stream. Uh, to all of you who are viewing at home and your comfort of your homes and that. And well done to all the winners. That's me, Reno Wilkinson, wrapping up for today. Go Tens Valley Technical School Rugby. See you next time.